Not all cats are cute, cuddly, and furry. Some would walk away from explosions. Some wear sunglasses and ride motorcycles. Some play bass in heavy metal bands and surf. These are the most badass cats in the world. Number 15. Cobra in some parts of the world, visitors to a regular garden can be a little more intense than a mouse or a regular bird. In India, homeowners can find themselves dealing with cobras, which are a kind of huge and venomous snake, famous for their iconic hooded appearance. In fact, they are the world's longest venomous snake, and some full-grown adults can reach almost 20 feet in length. These snakes are known for being extremely aggressive when threatened, and have a fearsome reputation. But that does not seem to be bothering these two young cats. They instinctively know to be cautious, but they are determined to get in there and bring the fight to the snake, which, judging by its size, is maybe only a junior. But a junior which packs a punch, the venom of the cobra, is more than strong enough to kill this cat. Perhaps Kitty is just going to have to learn the hard way on this one. But there's no denying that this cat is braver than most and able to go face to face with one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. World. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. We all know that cats and dogs don't get along. We all know that it's dogs who are the muscle out of these two animals. But cats can be super badass. In fact, some of them have pretty gnarly fighting skills. Just take a look at this photo, captured by a fan of the channel, Allison Jacks. Her pet dog, Scooter, had been trying to eat out of the cat's Fluffy food bowl, and Fluffy proved they're not to be messed with. After hissing and swiping with their claws, Scooter just kept trying to eat Fluffy's food. So Fluffy kicked them square in the face. Yikes. We've all gotta say we'd be tempted to do the same if someone tried to swipe our lunch. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Tarantula The tarantula is one of the most feared creatures of all. Throughout the world in the hot zones where it lives, it has become a symbol of fear and death, associated with demons and Halloween and the devil himself. This is probably to do with its terrible bite, which can be venomous, and the horrifying eight legs, which make it look like an alien from a faraway planet of monsters. But no one told this cat that it ought to be afraid. In fact, it seems to be treating this as a pleasant little snack. No more dangerous than a mouse or a bird. The cat demolishes the tarantula, who in fairness has a pretty significant size disadvantage. The spider doesn't even manage to get a single bite in. The cat takes it down with some fast swipes and then pretty much just eats it up right there, legs and all. So if you're something of an arachnophobe and live in a place with a few too many giant spiders lurking around, consider investing in a pet cat or some serious pest control. Number 13. Dog. In the classic battle of house pets, cat versus dog usually ends up with the dog as the one in charge. Think of all those old cartoons. It makes sense. Dogs are usually bigger than cats, but this is one cat that does not seem to think that size matters at all. Owner Kyle Block caught this footage of his Siamese cat boxing. <laughs> and his Anatolian Shepherd going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or rather, nose to paw. The Siamese cat is native to the country of Thailand, a country which was formerly known as Siam. These pointy-eared, distinctive-looking cats are one of the oldest cats in Asia, dating back to the 14th century, and it seems like they have picked up on some of the ancient martial arts skills that the region is also famous for. Here we see Kitty putting himself into a fighting position, ready for some Muay Thai action. 
the cat unleashes a powerful left-right combo, and the dog doesn't seem to know how to respond, just absorbing the blows, but they keep coming. Reining in, it looks like this round is going to the cat. But don't bet against the dog just yet. Number 11, Baby Goat. Now on to an even more dangerous, terrifying, and deadly beast. One that will make the cobra, the tarantula, and the alligator look like harmless little house pets. The baby coat! <laughs> yes, that's right. This cat with nerves of steel is willing to take on and dominate its new housemate, a baby goat. In this video, we see a house which seems to be either snowing inside or filled with very busy spirits. Perhaps the ghosts of all this cat's other victims. The goat approaches and the cat decides enough is enough. The goat gives a little headbutt and the cat responds with pure fire, attacking with its claws out. Then it turns into a true clash of the titans, a contest that sways and staggers back and forth, like one of those 100 round boxing matches from the 1920s where men of equal strength and heart simply fought one another until near death. At one moment, it seems like the goat has had it, but then the cat will simply never give up. Rumor has it these two are still fighting on in their strange red carpeted spirit world. Number 10. Rabbit. The cat, having shown what it is capable of against the goat, now moves up the rankings to take on the next challenger. Just like in Raging Bull. Only unlike boxing, our contender has to face not one, but two opponents at the same time. And these are two seriously fat rabbits. One way in which rabbits have an advantage over cats is that the rodents are fantastic diggers. And these rabbits have dug a pretty sweet hole in the dirt, which the cat wants to check out. So Mr. Cat chills at the edge of the hole, taking his time while the rabbits hang back and watch. What do you now in that hole from the konijntjes, Karel? Pas maar op hoor, dat vinden ze niet leuk. The cat drops down for a closer look. The tension is incredible. Will he find something in the hole? Will the rabbits attack and try to reclaim it? The rabbits get a little closer and then the cat launches its counter-offensive. The rabbits retreat, but only to regroup. This time they're going in much closer, but the cat in its bunker is fighting like an old dog of war out in Vietnam, surrounded but determined never to surrender. Finally, the rabbits unlock the victory with a tactical master stroke, a pincer movement. The cat sees that it has been flanked while one rabbit remains in position. It's time to make a run for it. Number 9. Monkey Next challenger is from the primate family, and it is a cheeky little monkey. To be precise, it is an African vervet monkey taking on a Persian cat, as two hot and famous regions face off. It seems like this homeowner doesn't really want the monkey on his property, but the monkey doesn't have a lot of fear. This monkey is ready to take some risks, and looks like he might be in the mood to raid this person's house and steal some food. But if he's not afraid of the human, he might want to be worried about the Persian cat, who is standing silently by, watching how things unfold, perfectly calm, like a master in an old martial arts film. The monkey stops for a moment to uh, adjust himself and make sure he's smelling fresh, but the cat does not take its eyes off the monkey for a moment. And then the moment comes, and the cat launches its ferocious attack on the simian. The monkey stands no chance against the power of the swipe, and pretty soon it is on the run. Number 8. Cat Here's the dramatic plot twist in our Cat War epic story. This is the point in the movie where the cat discovers after defeating all these crazy tough enemies, gator, snake, baby goat, that the real enemy he must defeat is himself. Ah, uh, of course, because it is only in overcoming his own fears and issues that he can become truly free 
so he must fight. No, no, wait, that's not himself. That's actually just another cat. So in the end, this is just a cat versus cat fight. But here's the crazy part. It looks like a naughty crow is provoking these cats to fight one another for his own amusement. This is like some kind of bird coliseum, and the crow is the Roman emperor, while the cats are down there fighting it out as gladiators. The crows tweak the tails of the cats to get them agitated, and then have a blast when the cats decide to attack each other. The cats stop for a moment, wondering why they are having this civil war, when they could be each eating up a tasty crow. But the devilish crows tweak another tail, causing the cats to jump right back into their brawl. In my opinion, these crows are just hilarious, and showing why they are considered to be among the smartest animals on Earth of any species. Number 7. Fox what do you do when you need a guard dog, but you don't have a guard dog? You turn to your guard cat, of course. Out in Norway, some youngsters came across a curious fox who wanted to come and greet them. Now, Mr. Fox might look cute and harmless, like a puppy dog sniffing around, seeing what's going on. But it's still a wild animal, and you can never be sure what a wild animal is going to do next. It might be friendly, it might be plotting to drag those kids away to work as slaves in its underground evil empire. You just can never be totally 100% sure. And so this black cat decides to take matters into its own hands by launching an aggressive swipe attack at the fox. In the spirit of its huge cousin, the Black Panther, Kitty gives the fox a blow on the nose and sends this fox running back to where it came from. Once again, a badass cat, proving how loyal and protective it can be in those rare moments it is not cleaning its own butt. Number 6. Tiger so, how are things working out for our feline friend? So far, so good. We've seen some serious badassery from our regular domestic cat, which is something we might never have otherwise expected. But when your cat starts to play with the bigger kids, what's going to happen? For one Ukrainian family, a single pet cat wasn't enough. They needed something a little wilder to complete the family. And so they invested in a baby tiger. It wasn't long before the time came to introduce the tiger to their regular house cat. And it seems like they are getting along pretty well so far. Pawing each other and nuzzling is a good sign. But even as a baby, the tiger is far larger and stronger than the cat will ever be. One swipe too hard, and it could be bad news for Kitty. In fact, the cat seems to be giving back as much as he is being given, using the old paw swipe to make sure the baby tiger doesn't step out of line. However, in just a few short months, this tiger will turn into a massive and ferocious predator, so things might look a little different by then. Number 5. Hawk Cats and hawks, never likely to be the best of friends. In this video, we see a huge hawk, which has landed in a suburban garden, and managed to capture a snake in its talons. It's taking a breather when a local house cat shows up. The cat looks over at the camera, as if to say, okay, are, are we rolling? Anyway, now he's on camera. The cat is ready to go stalking this massive bird. He creeps closer and closer, and the hawk notices the cat, but doesn't seem too bothered. In fact, he turns his back on the cat and takes a poop in the cat's direction. Well, tell us how you really feel, Mr. Hawk, why don't ya? This cat doesn't seem to mind too much, and he keeps on getting closer. But then the cat notices that this isn't just an overgrown sparrow. It's a massive bird with huge claws, but the camera is on, and he doesn't want to look like a fraidy cat. One flap of those big wings, and our cat is running away though. I bet he was hoping the hawk would just fly away so the cat wouldn't lose his his street cred. Finally, the bird flies off with its meal, and the cat chases. But, you know, once it's safe to do so. Next time, it could be the cat who is on the hawk's brunch menu. Number 4. Squirrel you thought a hawk was badass? Well, how about a squirrel? That's right. 
the evil, mighty and ferocious squirrel, the notorious rodent that loves to collect nuts and store them in a tree for winter. And, well, that's, that's actually about it. Anyway, one squirrel decides to make the fateful decision to wander into the garden of Pico the cat. Pico slowly creeps up behind the squirrel, using all its ancient hunting instincts, which have not been dimmed by thousands of years of having their food poured right into a bowl for them, but the squirrel senses something is up, and turns to face the cat. Now the cat must confront the mighty squirrel. They dart to the left, they dart to the right, back to the left and again to the right, and let's just say what great camera work is going on here for a change. The agility of these animals is amazing, but the squirrel outsmarts the cat and disappears up a tree. The cat then ambles away, checking its fingernails, saying, I wasn't even trying. Number three, dolphin. These two will not have come face to face since dolphins decided that life on land was lame, and having evolved all the way from fish to mammals, they were going to head back into the sea again some 50 million years ago. Cats, on the other hand, like humans, were among the species that were more like, we've come all this way, we ain't going back now. So dolphin and cat were destined never to meet again until the invention of water parks in, like, the 1960s or something. And now people can head out on a boat in a marine park with their pet cat and pit these two against one another again. like a Smilodon meeting a plesiosaur. We might have expected an epic battle to unfold, but they actually seem to be pretty friendly towards one another. The cat even gives a friendly nuzzle to the dolphin in a very, aww, kind of moment. Maybe they bonded over how much they love to eat fish? Who knows? Number two, octopus. Here's another pairing that haven't really seen much of each other in a long, long time. Cat and octopus. But in this instance, an octopus has somehow ended up on dry land in this dock area, and a cat has come over to take a look. The first grab is by the cat, getting a hold of one of the octopus's tentacles. And once the cat has had a lick, it realizes that octopus tastes good. So the cat decides he's just going to eat the octopus the puss's leg right there and then, while the poor cephalopod is kinda still alive. The cat chews on the little morsel and decides he wants some more. Meanwhile, the octopus makes his slow way back to the water, not really feeling the idea of having his legs eaten today. The cat watches his dinner slip back into the water, and then the octopus just kind of lurks there, as if saying to the cat, come and get me now. Anyway, one amazing thing about octopuses is that their legs can grow back, even if they lose one entirely. So this guy should be okay after his encounter with the cat, although he's probably lucky things didn't turn out a whole lot worse. Number 1. Black Bear Out in New Jersey, black bears are known to sometimes roam into areas where humans live, and can be found going through their trash. Anyone remember the episode of The Sopranos with the bear? Uh, right, exactly like that. Except in this garden, the boss is a tabby cat named Jack, and he's determined to whack this intruder. Jack's owner had to intervene and try and save the bear from her ferocious cat, calling Jack back into the house so the bear could make its escape. We used the joke, Jack's on duty, never knowing he'd go after a bear. Donna Dickley told local newspaper, The Star Ledger, he doesn't want anybody in his yard. She added, the bear was forced to climb a tree by the 15-pound cat, who immediately went on the offensive against the massive predator. The bear tried to climb down and escape, but was immediately chased up a second tree by Jack. And that's when Donna knew she had to intervene and calm her hissing cat, so the terrified bear could climb down and get on with his day. And now the bear will go back to his friends and tell them about how he fought his way out of an encounter with the biggest puma you've ever heard of. Which of these cats did you think was the most badass? Have you ever seen a cat doing a truly badass thing? Let us know in the comments below.
below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!